workers, thus I have some experience, and it tells me things aren't right. Being retired, I have lots of time to spend on the computer keeping up on what's going on and not being said in the news media. I should probably say, what they're not allowed to say. Few people realize that what they hear and are told is highly controlled. We're being kept in the dark, so in this article I'm going to reveal what is being done to humans that they don't know about and don't want to believe. It takes a lot of research, reading, watching and listening, to get a true picture of our world it's not all told in one place but it's revealed in many bits and pieces here and there. Few working class people have the time nor inclination to do this sort of research. They wouldn't believe much of it anyway, because they don't see it on the nightly news. So here is what I've learned from numerous books, talks, and articles from many sources as of February, 2017. I'm not citing any of my sources because there are far too many of them over a long time period it would fill a book. I've considered each source and believe them to be true to the best of my ability. I'm skipping a lot of detail and background information as it would be too involved this is a brief overview. This may sound like science fiction to you as you've probably not heard this before, but keep an open mind. Let me start at the beginning, because this isn't widely known either. The human inhabitants of Earth have unknowingly evolved and been manipulated and controlled for many centuries by a reptilian race from other galaxies. We call them Ets. They have manipulated our genes and it has been for their own benefit. We were brought here as slaves to work for them. There are numerous varieties of humans, black, white, oriental, etc. This is because we've come from many places in the galaxies. Most planets have only one type of species but because of this collecting, we have many. The Alpha Draconians, Drachas, are different kinds of Draco-slash-reptilian life forms, often giant in shape. These races are commonly mentioned as a cruel conquer race and deeply involved in Earth's history. These reptilians are so advanced that, they have surpassed the physical limitations of their material bodies. These ETS live for thousands of years and are thus are very intelligent. To make dealing with us easy, they've dumbed us down. We are a crude, primitive race compared to them. They normally communicate telepathically but some speak physically. They've kept this from us. Can you imagine our world if we could read each other's thoughts? It would be a very different and probably a better world. They've also prevented us from remembering our past lives. Our lives in these physical bodies are built upon lies and misconceptions impressed upon us by those who are covertly running this planet. There is a large variety of aliens from many parts of the galaxy. There are some we call tall whites. They look much like Nordic people. One woman told of seeing a male and female in a casino in Las Vegas. She was intrigued by their perfect, beautiful clothing and perfect skin. She followed them down an escalator and could hear them in her mind. They made a comment about the woman behind them who was listening to them. What are called the Drax, who look like reptiles, live in our underground. They prefer the underground to the surface as we do. Humans are helping them. Workers building secret tunnels for our government came across other tunnels that no one knew about. Reptilians regard us as primitive, stupid people. Some of them can read our minds and can present to us whatever we wish to see based on our beliefs. What we thought was science fiction is now reality, and happening today. They can assume our forms and do whatever they want. They have underground facilities in Africa and Australia, near the coasts. They have tunnels that lead out into the ocean where they have their crafts and can move on and off the planet from there. The ETS often keep watch over us from their spacecrafts, often hiding in artificial strange-looking clouds. Not all reptilians are evil. Some are good, just as we are among our race. There are many different types of ETS throughout the universe. The Apexian greys have been heavily genetically re-engineered and manipulated until they became more of an android race. These are probably the most widely known type of ET. Grey aliens were created as a slave race to the reptilians. We have many types of ETS with us, and most are good. They have powers and abilities far beyond that of mortal man, from Superman. They can change their appearance and control our mind. 
This mind control is also being used by our secret government, 